For two straight years, August 14th belonged to pitcher Linwood Schoolboy Rowe. In 1934, the largest weekday crowd in history watched the Tigers win their 14th straight at Yankee Stadium as Schoolboy Rowe notched his 13th consecutive W. One year later to the day, in 1935, the schoolboy tossed an 18-2 victory over the Senators while going 5-for-5 five five at the dish. Holy cow! On August 14, 1942, led by the double play combo of Phil the Scooter Rizzuto and Joe Gordon, the Yankees turn a record seven double plays in an 11-2 win over the A's. The Yankees would finish the season with 190 twin killings, just four shy of the record that they had set the previous season. On August 14, 1902, the Pittsburgh Pirates' little Tommy Leach hits two inside-the-park home runs at Boston. He would end the year as National League home run king, closing out the season with six, every single one, inside-the-park homers. August 14, 1977, Carl Yastrzemski leads the Red Sox to an 11-1 thrashing of Seattle by collecting his 506th career double. This moves Yaz past Babe Ruth on the all-time doubles list. August 14, 1999, Texas backstop Yvonne Pudge Rodriguez becomes the first catcher in Major League history with 20 homers and 20 stolen bases in the same season. That was August 14th, This Day in Baseball.